I've been flying the Mavic 3 Classic for a couple of weeks now, but we have primarily been looking at daylight footage. In this video, I will show you the amazing capabilities of the Micro Four Third sensor doing low light or night footage using uh, the specific mode for that purpose that's called night mode. Let's start by switching it into night mode. And what you would see here is that you immediately get a warning that will tell you that obstacle avoidance is not available during night mode. That is followed up by another warning with the recommendation to set the return to home altitude above the tallest building before flying. So you make sure that you don't collide with anything on your way back. And it's actually pretty dark now, even though the camera doesn't show it. If you take a closer look at the ground camera here, or the camera that is on the ground, you can see that it's actually pretty dark. So we start by filming the ferry that connects Denmark and Sweden. It's actually Sweden that you can see in the back, this uh, land with the, all the city lights in the back, that's actually Sweden, it's Helsingborg. And this ferry connects through maybe only a distance of four kilometers Denmark and Sweden. And uh, the other side, the Danish side is called Helsinger, and this is where the Kronborg Castle is uh, located. So let's just stop the footage here and then switch it into normal mode and then do some recording here. Also notice that the obstacle avoidance system is also disabled due to low light in normal mode. This ferry is actually operated with electricity and not petrol, and it goes back between Denmark and Sweden once every hour. It's very easy for us that lives in this area to just jump on this boat for a fast trip to Sweden if we want to do that. Let's switch it back into night mode. One of the key advantages of the night mode is that the ISO can be boosted up to 12,800, but only in the normal color profile. The resolution is also locked to 30 frames per second. In normal mode, as well as slow motion, the maximum ISO is 6,400 and it's capped at 1600 when you're using some of the 10-bit color profiles, the D-Log and HLG. How do you think it's performing? I think it's doing a fantastic job doing low light, but I'm not really sure that I can see the difference between night mode and normal mode. But in general, I have no complaints about the footage. It's definitely usable. So let's leave the ferry. Now let's try to track the city train just to give you an idea about the performance uh, doing that. I'm just performing a manual track here, and you can see if you look at the buildings in the background, it's very easy to see all the details. The city lights, of course, they help contribute to the overall impression of this footage. I'm over open water, and there was a lot of seagulls below the drone, so it was kind of uh, thrilling to do these recordings. To eliminate the city lights, I decided to film the Kronborg Castle that's currently right now does not have the usual spots turned on. And as you can see, it warns me about the flight altitude of 100 meters. And this is uh, actually wrong. I don't know why we are getting this warning all the time as the maximum height, at least where I'm located right now in Denmark, is a maximum of 120 meters. Normally the castle looks really, really nice in the evening because it's surrounded with spotlights that helps uh, sort of show the castle from its best side. Because of the war in Ukraine and the rising energy prices, it has been decided by the city council that they want to save the cost of a sort of illuminating the castle. Actually looking at the footage, it looks like there's plenty of light, but there's not, as you can see here from the ground camera. Let's do some reference clips for you that will allow you to assess the quality of the drone. By starting out switching it into normal mode, which will max out the ISO around 6,400. Then we do one in D-Log, which is a flat color profile with a maximum ISO of 1,600. So I would not expect too much of that one. It'd be very hard to recover that one in post. Then we switch it into HLG. This one is a little bit better, but it also suffers from the limitation of a maximum ISO of 1,600. Finally, we are switching it into night mode. 30 FPS and doing a reference clip here. And this one will allow the ISO to go as high as 12,800. I'll make sure to make those clips available for you through the Tech Drone Media website at some point. I'm right now at a location with a very low bandwidth. I will put it up as soon as I can and make sure to link it in the description below. 
In that way, you will be able to evaluate the performance by yourself. So this concludes my night flight with the DJI Mini 3 Classic. I've made a ton of videos around this fantastic drone and in case you're interested in checking those out, I'll make sure to link relevant videos here on the screen. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you did like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.